Hey everybody, it's February 24th, 2020, and you know what that means? It's the first day of the new Next Level Cisco certifications. Yours truly, Anthony Sequera, ran out on day one and took the Encore exam. That's the, let's see, that's the Implementing Cisco Enterprise Network Core Technologies exam. We know this is the CCNP Enterprise Core exam. I've got my score report and I've got a full review for you right here. So that's right, everybody. It's the 350-401 exam. You can expect about 102 questions. So right away when I started the exam, I'm like, oh, whoa, 100 questions. And then I thought, oh, wait a minute. This is the new CCIE written qualification step for the enterprise CCIE. So I'm like, well, that kind of makes sense. It is like a CCIE written exam. And the great news is there's 102 questions, you've got two hours, and I didn't have any problem with time. I, I had probably 50 minutes to spare. So uh, the questions are not going to take you a lot of time. There were many questions that I didn't know the answer to, and you know what to do when that occurs. You just do your educated guess and then move on to the question. Uh, next question, I was able to pass this exam with plenty of educated guess type opportunities. And let me just stress that that was because there were many of the topics that I have not yet prepped at all. Ronnie and I, uh, Ronnie Wong and I are teaching this encore at IT Pro TV. And obviously the sections that we've taught, I knew inside and out as far as the exam went. But for those topics that we haven't taught yet, I didn't bother studying them like a fool before walking in the exam, but there was still plenty that I knew enough to pass this exam. So I'd like to emphasize that too. I don't think you're going to have time problems. And I would say that this is an easier test than many that I've seen from Cisco Systems. So if you're studying with something like the IT Pro TV materials and you are, you know, taking your notes on our videos and you're, you're really concentrating as you watch those and watching some maybe multiple times if you're struggling with that topic you're going to be just fine this is not a very difficult exam at all in my opinion there were no simulations makes sense that there wouldn't be simulations if you have 102 questions and you've got two hours to solve those questions you'd be in a lot of trouble if there was a bunch of simulations there were drag and drop and there were your multiple choice and there were your choose multiple, multiple choice. So, you know, the choose two, choose three. They never did the tricky approach of choose all that apply. Something else I would say about this exam was the fact that it was very adherent. It, it followed the blueprint, the exam objectives overall very well. So I was happy to see that. There was one area that was a surprise for me and that was VLAN trunking protocol. So that wasn't explicitly called out in the exam objectives, but I was glad I knew VLAN trunking protocol because I got a couple of questions on that, which would have been very difficult if I didn't know VTP inside and out. So we will be creating videos for you on VLAN trunking protocol as that was the big surprise topic out of the list of topics. But as I said, I was very impressed with how well it stuck to the objectives. By the way, the passing score, is, required passing score for right now is an 825. I do expect that to change. So that'll probably creep up as more people run in and pass this exam like I did on the first day, right? So whenever we say the number of questions with an exam and we say the required passing score, understand that that could and will most likely change. One thing I'd like to suggest that if anyone from Cisco is watching this video, I'd like to suggest uh, one word, Grammarly. I've been seeing this more and more with Cisco exams and it's really annoying. There are some grammatical issues with questions. Come on, you know, just give Grammarly licenses to your question authors, please. 
doesn't instill a lot of confidence when there's grammatical errors in the question, like glaring ones that anyone should have caught. So Cisco, please subscribe to Grammarly. So uh, what else uh, did I want to tell you about this exam? I'm just looking over my score report. Um, it, it was interesting how many questions I would get on one topic, right? So really, you know, do your due diligence with studying because when you learn something like JSON, right? When you learn how JSON is constructed and the syntax that you need for JSON, you could get potentially four or five of your hundred questions right. So I keep I kept running into areas where Boy, I'm glad I know that about OSPF because it just helped me solve three questions. Glad I know that about JSON just helped me solve four questions, you know. So it's it's really interesting how they're pulling, you know, randomly from this big pool of questions that I'm sure they have. And you could have the luck of the draw where you get three or four that just require you to know one thing. And, you know, you get you get all that uh, credit. The bad flip side of that, of course, is that if you don't know that topic, you really get punished. So do due diligence, do better than I did in studying, and really study all the topics. You don't want to be in the situation like me where, you know, I'm just like, well, geez, I just had to guess at quite a few of these questions. But as a CCIE route switch, which I am, you know, I better pass this without studying, I guess, since really the newest area for us traditional route switch guys on this thing, the, the biggest new area is wireless. So sure enough, that's where I caught myself like, ooh, I didn't know that an access point and a wireless LAN controller could do that. Let me do a best guess here. So I hope this review has been helpful to you. The Encore exam, nothing to fear. And for those of you that are interested, again, I mentioned it, Ronnie Wong and I are just creating videos that I'm so incredibly proud of. And as you might guess, we will leave no stone unturned, including VTP or any of the other. There was a couple of other like odds and ends that I was surprised they were testing on, but we'll make sure we have you covered in our Encore show at itpro.tv. Thanks for joining me in this YouTube video, and I'll be back for more exam reviews of these new next level certification exams from Cisco Systems.